Dismantling America's history, that is the subject of tonight's Waters Words. President Trump said this on the heels of the Charlottesville attack, which began over the removal of a Robert E. Lee statue, the famous Confederate Army General. This week it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? Waters World personally believes statues of Confederate war heroes are a part of our nation's history and can serve as important relics to reflect upon. But they are also very divisive, and localities should vote on whether or not they should be removed. Leave it up to the people. What I don't like are radicals ripping statues down, as you can see here. Destroying historical monuments is what the Taliban does, not American citizens. Let's also remember that all of these Confederate war heroes were Democrats. Democrats were the party of slavery. Maybe the left wants to tear down these statues so the country forgets that the Democratic Party enslaved black people. But I actually think many on the left want to destroy any monument of revered historical American leaders. Vice News tweeted this article. Let's blow up Mount Rushmore. A bust of Abraham Lincoln in Chicago was torched. And he was the one who freed the slaves. And Chicago is in the land of Lincoln. Open a history book. Liberal analyst Angela Rye on CNN said this. George Washington was a slave owner, and we need to call slave owners out for what they are. Whether we think they were protecting American freedom or not, he wasn't protecting my freedom. I wasn't someone who my ancestors weren't deemed human beings to him. And so to me, I don't care if it's a George Washington statue or a Thomas Jefferson statue or a Robert E. Lee statue. They all need to come down. Angela, it's one thing to remove a statue of Robert E. Lee. He was known only for fighting to maintain slavery in the South. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were primarily known because they wrote the Declaration of Independence, defeated the British, and founded the country. Because they owned slaves at the time, as many others did, does not define who they are. And George Washington's a bad guy now, so we're going to have to rename the capital. Can't call it Washington, D.C. And then there's the Washington Redskins. I always thought it was the Redskins part that was offensive. Not Washington. Then there's Al Sharpton, who said this about the Jefferson Memorial. When you look at the fact that public monuments are supported by public funds, you're asking me to subsidize the insult then I repeat, of my Thomas family. Jefferson had slaves. Then, and I would repeat that the public should not be paying to uphold somebody who has had that kind of background. We finally found something that Al Sharpton doesn't want to spend taxpayer money on. And why would Al Sharpton care where his taxes go? Doesn't he still owe the IRS about a million bucks? And finally, Nancy Pelosi chimes in and says she wants the Confederate statues of the U.S. Capitol removed. Ms. Pelosi has been in Congress for 30 years. Now she speaks up? What took you so long, Nancy? And I don't recall Nancy wanting to remove the statue in the Capitol of former KKK member and Democratic Senator Robert Byrd. I guess that has to come down too. And by the way, it's going to be very difficult. It's hard to determine the difference between a statue and a member of Congress. They both just stand there and do nothing. So good luck with that. With reaction to my words and how we move forward is performing artist Joy Vila, who's got a new song, Make America Great Again and political analyst and founder of Caldwell Strategic Consulting, Gianno Caldwell, who was real emotional discussing Charlottesville this week on Fox and Friends. Take a look. I'm sorry that this is where we are right now, and I hope the president learns a lesson from his press conference on yesterday. It's disturbing. All right, Gianno, you feeling a little bit better after that the other day? Yeah, I'm a, a whole lot better. And Jesse, I'll tell you, I listened to your monologue and it sounded like you took all of my talking points and put them in your monologue.
<laughs> well, I didn't hear what you said. I just saw the crying, but I'm glad you and I agree. Well, um, I know you, you cry on the inside often. You just got to <laughs> let it show sometimes, Jesse. Listen, I told you that, Gianno, in confidence. That was not to share <laughs> on television. So let me just get your reaction. You know, the, the left doesn't want the Robert E. Lee stuff, and I understand that. It's divisive, and well, I'll let the people decide. But no, when you go after Mount Rushmore, come on. Yeah, that's that's more of a difficult process, and I and I agree entirely with your monologue there. Obviously, Robert E. Lee uh, was a, was a, a Democrat, of course. Um, in addition to that, I don't believe that we should be giving out participation trophies for those who didn't win something. The war was very divisive. Slavery was obviously divisive. I'm in favor, of, in addition to what you said, in terms of letting local rule decide where these statues go. They are a part of history. Um, I'm not a big believer in seeing them because I think people use them as cherished memories. That's what statues are generally for, not just showing history, but also yeah. identifying parts in which you kind of care about, if you will. Um, in terms of Ro Mount Rushmore, I don't think that's something that we should do in terms of uh, destroying Ro 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 you know what I mean, yeah. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, going to take a lot of TNT to do, first of all, and uh, I think there's going to be Americans lined up in case anybody tries something silly. Joy, do you disagree? I disagree. I think we should not get rid of these statues. First of all, it do, just because we have a statue doesn't mean we're celebrating what happened. It commemorates a moment in history. Just like we have a 9-11 memorial, that doesn't commemorate it as something we celebrate. So trying to erase history is not putting us forward, it's actually putting us backwards. So as an African-American woman, when you walk by, let me just, okay, let me just say. If I may respond, so are you go, I said go ahead. put them in museums. We're not getting rid of them. We can repeal and replace them like Obamacare. We replace them with another statue well, in they our can't even areas do that, of local so rule. But you if they're going to try to repeal and replace that? like they did in the Congress, nothing's going to happen. And they're actually attacking the statues to get rid of them in the middle of the night, unlawfully. They're not voting on should we take these down. They're and attacking them. And I disagree them. with that. They, but they that's shouldn't. what they're doing, and they shouldn't right, they do that. Shouldn't. Well, let me, right. let, me, let me throw a poll at you guys, and um, it looks like 62% of Americans believe the Confederate statues should remain as a historical symbol, just 27% believe they should be removed because they're too offensive. Mm -hmm. The fact that the Democratic Party is really just going full force behind this right now on a losing issue, Jenna, do you think that's going to hurt them politically? Well, I, you know, it's not just the Democrats that are saying things. There's Republicans that believe that they should be preserved, of course. Um, but I think it isn't going to hurt them. I think that there's a lot of people that believe that it's divisive. We have uh, Robert E. Lee statues, obviously, but we don't have any Nat Turner statues. He led the rebellion against slavery. Uh, and that was somewhat of a divisive issue. Well, let me, that let time me, as let well. me put this to Joy then. So, Joy, instead of maybe removing statues of Confederate soldiers. Mm -hmm. What if they erected statues of prominent African-American historical figures? That is a perfect idea. I think what we need to do instead of tearing down America, we need to build America up. We do need to focus. We need to pivot away from this. We need to stop trying to destroy things that offend us. And let's put things that celebrate what happened. And let's say, yes, history was bad. That happened. Now, what can we do to celebrate people that fought against uh, slavery, that ended the Civil and, War? And Joy, I think you just made my point for me, made, made the I very made my point. Own that point. I, made. I don't think no, you no, made no, that no, point the earlier. No, the statues people are using to celebrate. In some cases, not all, but certainly when you got somebody who lost a war, a war to maintain slavery. Right, but 62% uh, of Americans don't find it offensive. So if we're going to pander to the 32%, how is that going to help people, anybody? 650,000 people died in the Civil War. This is really something we should be celebrating. Well, listen, Joy, I, think, I think we can all agree that if you're going to get rid of the statute, let's not put a rope around the neck and take it down and we spit on it in front of everybody. In order, that we can order. all agree on. Joy? Absolutely. Gianna, thank you guys very much. Thank, thank you. you. Still